Hey, this will be a video chart on SMAA. This chart is pretty uh, straightforward, uh, not too complicated, assuming you know chart patterns and so forth. Uh, so that's what caught my eye on this one. Nice little uh, chart pattern has been taking place here. Uh, so let's just dig in and start from there. So if we look down uh, at where these lows have been put into place, we've had you know this low, this low, this low. Obviously, each one is higher than the one before it, so that's always a good thing. Um, and then when we use these to draw our uptrend line you can see we have a nice little short-term uptrend that has begun to take shape and this also acts as the bottom portion of our uh, chart pattern now on the same token we have this resistance uh, tread line this one I'm gonna take a little leniency with there's a bunch of ways you could draw it. You could draw it probably straight across, or you could draw it at an angle. Uh, if you did draw it straight across, it would be an um, ascending triangle. But the way I'm going to draw it, because I think this uh, makes a little bit more sense, is as a symmetrical triangle pattern. Uh, if you're not sure what that is, um, basically it's this right here. If not, just go ahead and Google it, and there's plenty of information out there on symmetrical triangle patterns. Uh, but basically from a, a charting uh, perspective all it's telling us is it's kind of like a coil that's been getting tighter and tighter and as you see here these patterns do run out of room and uh, you know the, the sooner that they break out of these patterns the better um, and with today's increase in volume hopefully uh, it's, it's getting ready to make a move upwards uh, but you know with a pattern breakout really the next area of resistance is not up here until this purple line which is the 50 day cent moving average right now that's valued at 11 cents uh, so you know a breakout price would be right here around the seven and a half uh, eight cent area and then uh, you know with the next resistance not up here until over ten cents and when we're dealing with a, a penny stock this low you know those percentages add up uh, pretty darn quick so um, definitely keep an eye on a potential breakout uh, for the pullback players obviously the chart has history of bouncing from this tread line uh, it is getting close so it wouldn't have to pull back very far in order to be back right here at this tread line uh, and you know obviously on the same token a breakout from uh, this area would be very bullish but we don't want to see the price uh, you know start to drop below this trend line here uh, because that would obviously violate uh, the uptrend uh, that the price has been starting to put in since late November and then just to end the video volume wise uh, if the price does go sideways or pull back just a tad uh, the less volume the better but if we get any sort of breakout here through this top part of the pattern you know that's where you want to see a big volume bar like this the more volume the better and as I as I always like to say uh, you know you can the more volume on the breakout the more confidence you can put into the breakout so uh, the higher the volume the higher your confidence level should be on any sort of breakout and, and that really goes in either direction but you know with a break nice little gap here between resistance levels so it will be interesting to see how this chart plays out the rest of this week if there are any other questions on it please let me know if not I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com if you go there and sign up for the free newsletter you'll be sent a free ebook and with the newsletter subscription you'll get chart setups trade ideas educational pieces all sorts of things from big boards on a penny stock so there's a good variety of something for everybody it is all free we've been making some good money together on our alerts so I'd encourage you to go to the website sign up and see what it's all about one more time this was SMAA Thanks for listening.